What is going on, everybody? Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are new here, my name is Tyson with Faithfully Bearded. If you're a longtime watcher, subscriber, supporter, welcome on back. If you're here because of No Shave November, today I want to talk about beard oil, how you use it, what it is, what the purpose of it is, why you want to use it, and the differences between the different types of beard oil. So let's get into that right now, and hopefully by the end of this video, you've hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and you found some value into the video that we've brought to you today. All right, so we're talking beard oil, and maybe if you're a first timer getting to know your beard, getting to grow it, and you're getting to that itchy phase, we have a solution for you. Maybe you're a longtime seasoned veteran of the beard game, and you're trying to think, you know, like, why is there so many different companies of beard oils? Why do some work? Why do some don't? But they have the same ingredients on them. So why don't they work? Or maybe you're thinking, I go to Target and I see beard oil. Can I just buy it there? I mean, if any of those questions go through your mind ever, this video is going to help you by the time we get to the end of it. So beard oil, first and foremost, is made up of different carrier oils, such as maybe jojoba oil, argan oil, hemp seed oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, and the list goes on. And what these oils do, they all bring a different property, maybe nutrient benefit to the hair and the skin. Now, some companies, most companies, almost all companies mix different ones together to get properties that they're looking for to help your beard. We talked about going to Target and buying beard oil, right? Now, the reason that I don't recommend necessarily going to Target to buy a beard oil or Walmart, yes, you can find good ones. But with that being said, if you're a new beardsman, you don't necessarily know what you're looking for. There's a couple things to think about. When you go to a Walgreens, Walmart, Target, you go to a retail store and you buy beard oil, you're just picking something up that says beard oil, and what's really catching you is either the scent or the marketing on the product. Now, you got to think as a big company, they're grabbing the cheapest oils they can find from the cheapest places they can find. So is it really beneficial to your hair and skin? No, probably not. Is it going to hurt it? No, probably not. But you're not getting anything out of it, much less might not even re relieve the itching that you have and a lot of times leaves your beard feeling dry. That's something to think about. They buy the cheapest ingredients they can get in bulk. They might produce fillers in there. The other side of the fence is we have this beard community with a bunch of these small batch companies or a bunch of companies that care about people maintaining their beard. Now, you can see company A with a certain carrier oil blend. You can see company B with the exact same blend, but you can wear the oils in your beard, on your skin, and you can feel a difference. The reason for that is two things. Number one, the porosity of your beard hair. Now, if you're not familiar with porosity, I have done a series on beard porosity, and I definitely recommend you go check that out because you got to know what type of hair porosity you have to know what type of carrier oils and beard oil blends work the best for you. Number two is where you source the oil from. These big box retailers are most likely getting it as cheap as they can buying it in bulk compared to the small batch guys who will source it from different areas of the country or different countries altogether to look for the highest quality, best grade beard oil that they can do. There's also different ratios that they mix in the beard oil and also different carrier oils. And then you have either essential oils or fragrance oils that mix up into the beard oil. So that overall is how you come up with a beard oil that can feel different, that is made up of the carrier oils. And the whole purpose of this is to nourish your hair and skin underneath your hair, but also relieve that itch. Now, you got to know what the itch is caused by, and I made a video about that last week. I'll put that card up here as well. So you can go back and watch that video if you haven't before. So for the new beardsman, you need the beard oil to help relieve that itch. Ongoing beardsman, I recommend you figure out the porosity of your beard hair and find what oil works for you because when you find the porosity of your hair and you can narrow down which carrier blends are going to work best for you, man, you save a lot of money and you know exactly where to go. No more are the days of buying stuff and you're like, eh, this doesn't work for me because you are now knowledgeable on the type of hair that your face grows. So let's get into the next segment of this, which would be, how do you apply beard oil? Like, is it as easy as dropping it in your hand 
and smearing it all up in your beard? Yes and no. You don't want to use too much beard oil, and I get to ask that question a lot. How do you know if you're using too much? Well, if you have a colored shirt like this and you see oil residue on your shirt or around the neck of any type of t-shirt, you're using too much beard oil. If you can go like this during the day and rub oil off your neck from your underbeard, you're using too much beard oil. The biggest way to do it, though, is to put some in your hand, put it in your beard, and if 15, 20, 30, an hour later, you can go like this through your beard and feel oil on your skin, you use too much beard oil. And 90% of people probably use too much beard oil as a rough statistic. So I have a beard oil right here that I just got from Detroit Grooming, and this is uh, their Christmas scent here. Uh, it's their Christmas a limited edition scent, and I went with Detroit Grooming for this video because A, I really like the feel of their beard. B, I just got this in the mail today, and the scent is pretty awesome. Um, C, they're a really good small batch, but more big type company. Likely, if you Google them, you probably heard of them. You may run across them in Google searches. Uh, along the likes of like Beard Brand or Live Bearded, who all produ produce great uh, beard products. So here we have an open top, right? So a lot of times you'll see drip stoppers where you turn it upside down, you tap the bottom three, four times. This one's open. You also see some with eyedroppers where you can measure out how much oil you want. I'm just going to take my finger like this, tip the bottle upside down. I'm now going to go to the next finger, tip it upside down, three, four. So I got four fingers, fingertips of oil here. Now, a lot of times we dump it into our palm, right? And we go like this, and then we get it through our beard. But that's kind of pointless because your skin, your palm is sucking up a lot of it, and you don't go through your beard like this. You go through like this. So you really want to focus on getting it on the fingertips and through the middle of your fingers like this, all right? So you, that's where you really want to focus. The oil is on my fingers, not my palms. So, and then I like to start underneath, get the skin up underneath like this, rub it through, rub it into the skin. That's the primary focus is that skin. And then you can bring it out like this, kind of get it on the outside however you want, get that mustache. And, that, and this is just a nice scent from Detroit Grooming. And then you're gonna style, but that's for a different day. This was on how to apply the beard oil. So fingertips into the skin, into the skin as much as you can. That's going to relieve that itch. And this is also good for veteran beard uh, growers who maybe just dump it in their hand, go around like this and rub it in. You really want to get on those tips and in between your fingers where the hair is actually going to rub and the tips so you can massage it into the skin down there, all right? We talked carrier oil blends, the different grades that there is. We talked different carrier oils and we talked knowing the porosity of your beard Hair. If you find this video useful, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, uh, share it out with a new beardsman or anybody that might find this beneficial, but more importantly, find out the porosity of your beard hair. Again, it's linked above. I'll put it down in the description below too so you can go. Leave a comment below if you've done the porosity. What's your porosity? If you're new beardsman, did you find this video helpful? And if are you a, a fingertip oiler or are you a palm oiler? Let me know down in the comments below. And until I see you guys soon... Again, I am Tyson with Faithfully Bearded. Be you, be bearded, and God bless. Thank you for watching this video from Faithfully Bearded. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, click the bell, and turn on all notifications so you're notified of all new content. You can also become a member of the channel and get perks for the tiers that you join. You can share this out with your friends and help the channel grow. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and at faithfullybearded.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.